Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. And uh, I would like to take this moment, if we could, to see if we have some questions and invite Steve back with us. And see if uh, any of this was helpful for you, if there's something, I think uh, this has been recorded and will be available via archive tomorrow at uh, FF options, FX options forward slash archive. So uh, with that said, let's see what uh, kind of questions we got here. John, thanks. Uh, we'll wait for the questions to come in, but uh, always helpful as you offer different uh, parts of the market each and every week. In fact, oh, not each and every week, but each and every time you're, you're here. And you're going to be back with us on September 28th, so I'm looking forward to that presentation also. Do you see Randy's question? Well, you know what? On the 28th, we'll come back and visit how that uh, British pound set up at that 160 handle. And uh, we'll look at uh, maybe come back and look at some seasonal analysis because coming back in the end of September, we'll be concluding uh, uh, the quarter. And so it'll be exciting to look, give a look ahead into the fourth quarter. So I'll be excited to be invited back. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, John. Um, let's see a couple questions rolled in. You want to handle those? Well, when Wang had asked if I could talk about the Japanese yen seasonal pattern, and I'm sorry, today's presentation wasn't about seasonal analysis, but if you go to the website, nationalfutures.com, there's some information there you could find. Also, the book that I wrote is called The uh, Commodity Trader's Almanac with my uh, partner, Jeff Hirsch, whose father started the Stock Trader's Almanac. We talk about seasonal analysis in all the four major currencies, including the Japanese yen there. Uh, and then I think, Steve, we'll talk about seasonal analysis at the next presentation in September. So don't miss that event. Um, from M. Chan, is it correct to see the doji is the candle that is shaped like a cross? Yes, not the three candle combination. Yes, the doji was the one that was shaped like a cross. It was the middle candle of the three. Uh, it's where the market closes right at the opening. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like I'm getting off easy tonight. Uh, thank you very much, Steve, for having me. Folks, uh, I'll do a shameless plug for Steve, not that he needs it, but, uh, uh, you know, again, here are some upcoming uh, FX option um, extravagant events, and uh, maybe I'll let Steve, I will let you, uh... John, let me see if I can take this. I'll take the ball back. Well, we got Eric Novak. Here, I will just help. We got Eric Novak uh, next week, I believe, eight, seven, August 17th, trading FX options in volatile markets. Brian Overby. I know Brian. He's good on options. Um, I think he was with, um, is it King? Trade King, correct. Trade King, that's right. Uh, Brian Overby with Trade King on Improve Your FX Trading Using Option Geeks, Greeks. Um, good guy. And you can see uh, we will be back on 928. So we'll give it a little bit of rest for about six weeks or so. And uh, that should be about it. Steve, thank you for allowing me to come on and present for the ISE. John, thank you. Really appreciate it. And always look forward to all your presentations, but the seasonality ones are always um, so interesting, as are the pivots. So I really shouldn't um, have a favorite, although I do like seasonality. I know a lot of your uh, followers do. And they, as John said, Go to nationalfutures.com. He's got so many services there that are free. So just go right over there right after this presentation, nationalfutures.com, and I'm sure you can find what you're looking for. And you might want to pick up a couple of his books. Uh, I've read them. They're excellent reads, um, real straightforward. You can learn a lot. And uh, as Gil says, persons, pivots, rock. <laughs> Great, Gil. Thanks. John, thank you so much. All right, thanks, Steve. Have a great afternoon, and welcome Take back. Take care, and uh, I hope that hand mends. Take care and, and of yourself. You know what? I hope you uh, your travel uh, jet lag <laughs> mends. All right, thank thanks. you. Thank Relax. you. Thank just you want, just, thank you. Just want to remind right. everybody that we have Eric Novick back uh, a week from now. Eric uh, will be uh, talking about trading FX options in volatile markets. 
Uh, Brian Overby on August 24th from Trade King. Jason Ayers that does the weekly outlook on August 31st. Jack Crooks, another very popular guest on reverse, on, excuse me, reserve diversification. And then John Jagerson uh, as we roll into uh, the mid-September time frame. But don't miss John Person on September 28th. Uh, he'll be back with us. So I want to thank John again. He did a great job. And uh, I want to thank all of you, the attendees. Without you, this would not be possible. But thanks again for coming. Don't forget FX Options offer you the ability to implement your views with limited risk. You could bring in income by selling some spreads if you'd like. Um, you could buy some debit spreads. You can create volatility positions. You could do it all. Uh, and we have so much that's available at www.fxoptions.com. Check out the SKU charts. They're brand new, only a couple months old. And uh, I might even start writing a little bit of a blog about the skewness. So check it out. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you back real soon. This is your host, Steve Meisinger, wishing you a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. On behalf of the IAC, have a great night. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.